<laughs> uh, KB, tell me if stream's live. It's live. Alrighty! Simon has found a power suit with a dead body inside. Yay! He must adapt it so Catherine can transfer his mind into it and they can continue the journey into the abyss. Three parts are needed. Some structures gel, a cortex chip from a robot, and a power pack. If I have to kill four, not finishing the game. I don't like Catherine. Why not? She just has that I'm going to stab you in the back feel. She seems very unhuman. And so it gives that um, feeling that she just simply doesn't care about you because of the unhumanness. However, you have to remember, she isn't human. Didn't we have this discussion? When you put it that way. She is? She's not. She, her consciousness was once in a human. <laughs> However, biologically speaking, she is not human. So you're telling me that if I downloaded your brain and kept it on my phone because, you know, I kill you finally. If this, if our technology allowed this. Yes. Yes, my brain on your phone would not be human. Our previous discussion was whether or not they're alive. And I'm going to say, yeah, they're alive. Just like Lieutenant Commander Data is alive, but he's not human. Well, be being, being like, I, I don't know, ba backstabby and all that shit, that has nothing to do with human or not. There's plenty of humans that are <laughs> backstabby pieces of shit. Well, yeah. Please remember but... we're streaming before we say names. Pieces of poop. <laughs> oh no, pieces <laughs> of shit is fine. Just don't be like, you know, that asshole otter. <laughs> I, I don't know if he was actually alluding to a specific person, but humans in general can be... Can, well, it's one of those things, people. I could technically, I wasn't, but I could. There's like, <laughs> I, I know I know zero. people you could name call out of this, but it's it's just a fact of life that people Alright, all are... of a sudden the graphics look really bad, that's better. Okay. Okay. Alright, so... Press the any button! <laughs> I think I'll order a tab. Alright, uh, we're gonna be really Herbert. Yay. Okay. Did we ever figure out if this was actually a woman or not? Yeah. He oh, wasn't and, sure before. and and Godbert was here. Manderville? No, no. Remember, there was like the voice of God, and I called oh, it Godbert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, careful with those boots. You might need them. It might rain. Swipe on the tool. I guess this is the way out. All right. So Zero, we heard the voice of God at one point, and I called it Godbert because uh, why not? It reminded the me. The voice of God. Did, did the voice declare itself as God? No, just told her to. Don't forget, we need a cortex chip, help. structure gel, and a power pack to get the suit ready. It reminded me more of Hive Mind from Halo. If you played Halo Three, yeah, specifically, yeah. When you're in the when you're in the the floods thing. And then the hive mind starts speaking to you, and the screen starts shaking, and it starts like speaking in your mind all powerfully stuff. That's what it's sort of like. Kerosene, gas, things. I find structure gel in a structure. Yeah, it's rough because what is structure gel to them? I remember there was is some like guy eating structure gel, and that was one of the medical reports. Okay, so I'm, I'm assuming it's glue then. Yeah. Yeah. Like glue. I remember that that one crackbot? He was just like, "Give me some more. Give me some more." He wanted some structure gel. Ah, that's what he was talking about. Okay. So it's rubber cement then. Yeah. <laughs> Containment five. <laughs> oh god. Okay, right, let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Thunderbird. Get out of here. 
<laughs> yeah, just the panic pause. <laughs> I don't think there's even anything in the room. The screen flickered. Yeah. Does that a lot. You're a robot. Also, I'm pretty sure you're going back the way you originally came to get to this room. I don't know if you need to, you are supposed to or not. I'm just putting your direction all sets I know. in. I still want to know why we get creepy Robert vision every time I see, like, a body. Because it's infected with the wow. Wow. -woo. Wow, that's what I call music. Are you okay? Yeah, like you... that. Hmm. <laughs> Go inside, KB! Are you okay? No! Okay, midsection. Upper? Over? Yeah. Keep getting afraid, because you hear the teleport thing, but he's not there. Slender Bird is coming! You don't know this. Um... Oh, oh, wow. wow. So what do I have to do? One, two, three, four... Probably have to connect the dots. Make a mask. Maybe you have to make it like a big circle, so there's a complete circuit. What? It doesn't connect, like... Unless I gotta do one of those, like, connect every piece kind of puzzles? Mm, perhaps, yes. Did you see that? It said destroy the WoW. Uh, yeah, there was another thing that said stop the WoW before. You need to start in an extreme end, not, not sort of in the middle. So stop starting in the I fixed it. Good, good. I don't think Godbert is telling- well, maybe it's Godbert. Robert, 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 Robert can see me. I'm, I'm visible. I'm visible. I'm very visible. Oh, okay. there's not a dark corner for me to hide so in. Run away! Run away! Oh. Okay. I'm kind of away. I also didn't see Robert. Robert was in the middle of that room. I didn't see him. Also, that middle of the room was quarantined off. You, however, immediately default to staring at a corner whenever he shows up. So you can't even tell what you're hiding from, or where that whatever it is you're hiding from, where it is. If I can't see it, he can't see me. That is not how it works. It is how it works. It is exactly how it works. Ah! See, see, see. I can't be in that room. Let's go fast. Oh wait, there's a computer here. Ruffy! See, so you immediately turn away, but he teleports away. He can't reach you from the middle. Why not stare at him for a bit and see what happens? Because he's scary. Yeah, so? I bludgeoned it to itself to death before I could relocate it. Okay, good to know. Is there roughly a type of fish? Yes, it looks like these are all fish.
I'm in an elevator. Oh, it's like a contamination bay. Oh, you're not gonna let me through? Maybe you're contaminated. I wanna- I wanna get in there! Can- can you- I don't know. Looks like they're uh, one way up. Oh! Online. She doesn't have her head either. Everything have to break. Probably because there's nobody running the place. Oh, look, it's a rat. Okay, Robert, I, I know you're here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We have to stop it. Okay! Thank you, voice of God! Maybe it's not God, but, like, your consciousness speaking to your robot self. I, I still feel that because we are the default model, the default scan, you know, like the base... One of them. That our something is overriding what we see. Get the virus. Get the virus. Get the virus. Okay. So what's the deal with that? Like, what have you found out about that so far? I feel like I've missed some of whatever. Back in 2015, about 100 years ago, you went to a doctor, well, a oh, okay. medical student, um, to do some experiment to help you with some sort of illness that never really got mentioned. Um, and you did a brain scan. Next thing you know, you're waking up in this other place. Um, but you aren't you from 2015. You're just a brain scan put into a robot. We ended up becoming the kind of default program, the default, like, the base AI. Is that a head or a mouse? Maybe um, it's the head of a mouse. We've, we've become the kind of base AI before something else is programmed on top. So, there may be a thousand of us running around because we are the base. No, I don't think there are thousands of you. They're just... They're just based on... Like, there's not a thousand yeah. robots out there thinking they're Simon, or whatever your name is. My theory is that we are... Our... Simon's memories are slowly overwriting the memories of whose body we were in, originally in. We... Yeah, but we never had the memories of whoever's body we're currently in. But, okay, so did you stop it the moment your brain got scanned? Did you stop existing in the OG world, or...? No, 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 you, uh, as far as we know, the original OG Simon, Simon went died. On, yeah, went on to live his life until he died. Yeah, it went on to live, like, another six months, and then died. 
from so essentially whatever transmitted or however this all is this is just a bunch of consciousnesses of people who have been scanned or yes. like um what's her face in our in our omni tool um she even said that her original self went on to do a bunch of work but she can't remember it because it was after she was scanned yeah, she scanned herself first before doing other people, so she is aware that she probably did a lot of other work, um, but she doesn't know what. Gotcha. And is it just some kind of weird happenstance that you guys are all here, or...? The world ended when a comet hit and wiped everyone ah. out. This is an underwater station that survived and was made for the purpose of scanning people into what's called the Ark. And the Ark will. Uh, well, that wasn't its purpose. Space. That wasn't its purpose. Our, our, the purpose was a, this was a power plant. The Earth got destroyed, so they decided to build the Ark instead. Yeah. In order to create a new, here. essentially, world. Oh, there's the rat. You should laser the rat. Or maybe I will laser the rat. Um, it reminds me somewhat of Silence in the Library, a la Doctor Who style. That the Ark is supposed to be some kind of paradise-esque environment where they get to do whatever and... Live Except it. it would have been living a computer, but the computer got corrupted. No, well, we well, don't know. We don't know. My yeah. theory is we're already in the Ark, and yes, it is corrupted. However, as far as Simon is aware, we are going to the Ark, going to find the Ark, and get it ourselves transferred in and launch it to space. As the original plan was to be. It came back to life. There's something All like that it. Rat's moving. Is there any, anything to describe what the WoW is besides just a virus, or...? Um, some sort of housework robot thing that has decided that nothing should die. So it forces uh, people against their will to continue it, living, so we see breathing corpses and stuff. It's not so much nothing should die, it's just it's inefficient to die. It, it, it seems to, to thrive on efficiency. It only does things to make things efficient. I'm just reminded of that one guy early on that just sat there and you just electrocuted him. <laughs> oh, Carl? Carl, yeah. Yeah, and Carl was just like, afterwards, he's like, no, that was fine, don't worry about it, just <laughs> find someone. <laughs> we never did go find someone. See, now I'm, I'm not too happy with this, because this says gel uncalibrated. So we're going to have to calibrate the gel, you think? Well, that computer was talking about the gel, how they had to calibrate it to make it work better. To make it work, because it made the rat. It made the first rat that they, uh, they injected it with aggressive. Well, maybe the people need to stop eating the fucking glue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. We're having to calibrate the glue just in case someone decides to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I guess this ends this area. <laughs> See, but... Like, okay, this shower obviously was operated by this person in here. There's a big blood stain. There's no head, but they've barred the door. There is no way for me to get in here. And no way for them to get out. Well, yeah, there's a way for them to get out, but I think they would need a head to do so. We, Simon, are kind of in a corpse body. We have no head. That's that's what it is. It seems to be we had like a partial head. We're kind of in the skull, and we're animating a body of somebody else. And I, I, my, my theory right now is that we, Simon, are currently just replacing this person. Well, this person's dead. Yes, this person is dead, but we're just 
as we move further and further into the game... You think there's some conscious is still floating in the head? Yeah. In the body somewhere? Yeah. And then we're just slowly starting to supplement our own memories. Say, say, look! There's Robert! Robert! Huh, man. What's he gonna do? Robert told me it's important. That wasn't... Was that Robert, though? I don't know. What's the deal with Robert? Well, Robert's what we've been calling the WoW. Yeah. Because it was, its initial form that attacked us was a big robot, and she didn't yeah, well, name, I guess. <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny, Julie. They wanted Bob. What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> Am I that transparent? What do you want, Molly? We're friends, right? Yes. Do you think Alpha is real? Oh, what makes you... Why would you ask that? I think Ross is trying to tell me something. There's also a lot of political power play going on. Different people at different sites seem to think they know what's best, or someone is coming down to different sites and trying to almost have a coup in terms of what's going on. So, these audio diaries tend to, to give a little insight into what's going on. Also, we found out that because we're some kind of gross concoction of human and machine, um, everybody has, like, a humanoid black box, so we can relive their last couple of moments. If we, uh, find a corpse. Which is kinda cool. Oh, look, an iPad. Is that why you get that whole, like, blurry thing when you go to touch a corpse? I remember when you went to, um, like, grab... What's-his-face's, um, name tag at the beginning? Yeah, yeah. 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 Touch the corpse, you went all wonky. Yeah, that's that's us accessing the black box of information, which is kind of cool. But I also like that also lends itself to the theory of the whole like the original person's subconscious, because you're starting to compile these memories, and this person knew these people, so they're kind of you you can't adapt that information because somehow you know that information well. I don't think the body that we're inhabiting knew absolutely everyone at this site, though. That's a lot of people. No, but they seem to tra they seem to travel a lot. Like Catherine was known way back at Omicron. Everyone knew her. She was the one that was doing all the brain scans. I'm I'm just surprised this whole entire thing lasted as long as it did. Like, or. Was was the initial plan of the scans to hit this point, or was it just okay? We have these thought processes. Let's continue because you said it was a hundred years. I, yeah, I think one something or other, but I don't think the initial scans were for this particular no. incident. I think the initial scans were meant to see like part of an AI, like how how do we make humans live forever? Because with us, with Simon originally, it was how do we beat? I think it was like cancer or something. I don't think they ever mentioned what our sickness was. It was just gonna help people like us. It all, was gonna... all the infected stuff looks all tumory though, so there is that. Well this the the little buttholes, these are like healing pods. You, you can tell I was playing this game during that horrible, like, butthole conversation. <laughs> uh. I want to get in here. Door. There's a lot of fish. Where is Aaron when you need him? I don't know. Uh, Wisconsin? No, but good try! 
I got the country right, I'm sure. Oh, also, uh, one of these interesting little things seems to be that you have a choice in what you do. Um, uh, sometimes the WoW is hooked up to these people who are still functional enough to talk to you, and you can kind of choose whether or not you want to unhook them. Um, She's letting them suffer. I yeah. Want to put them out of their misery. I've been letting everybody live just because. Okay. She wants to take the evil route. The robots. I remember watching you unhook someone and then trying to shove the thing back in. The robots. Oh look, here we are. Here, zero. This is a good shot of us. The robots like scream in pain where the adult, where the humans ask to be mercy killed or ask for help. So I've been taking kind of the hard road and just. You look like fucking Doctor Doom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <okay. laughs> Medical bay, drive storage, drive room. Storage. I think we've been in here. Yeah, this is where you found kerosene. But so yeah, there there was a point where it was like you needed to divert power, and your option options were divert it from another source or get full power by unhooking somebody. So I had opted to divert it from some other source, and King thinks that it caused us to crash. Where? I don't think it, I think the crash would have happened either way. Um, I'm also thinking that whether or not you kill these people. Or just is just your moral choice. It, I don't think it would have any actual impact on the gameplay itself. I mean, it might. Maybe it'll aggravate the WoW more. I, I really don't know. You, you actually come across anyone who actually thinks that realizes they're a robot? Because I noticed a lot of the people you talk to so far are like, "Oh no, I'm human. What the fuck are you talking about? You're psycho." I think Catherine. Catherine knew she was a robot. Yeah, she knew. Catherine knew. Maybe, uh, go behind. No, we, we went through all this information, right? No, I meant that big round door. What big round door over here? Behind the terminal to activate the super. This is, I think this is the way out. Cause you it think, but you don't know. Go. It says swipe Omnitool and it's covered yeah. in barnacles. I would assume. Go swipe this... it. I can't! Catherine is still hooked up because she needs two more items. We are on a fetch oh. quest. I don't know if it's just a, you know, feel-good moral choice system, or if it's an actual moral choice system. What's the difference? A feel-good moral choice system just lets me know, lets me sleep at night that I didn't kill these people. An actual moral so choice system- you're saying that if, you're saying to me that if there was gameplay impact, you would still sleep soundly at night knowing you killed innocent people that you did not need to kill. If there was a game impact, I would get rewarded for making a choice. It didn't seem like I had a reward for making a choice. It just made me feel better that I opted to let these people live. Eventually you're gonna come across that person who's begging for you to unplug them. <laughs> No, I can't. I've made the moral choice. You must <laughs> suffer. I can't be wishy-washy. <laughs> I'm sticking to my guns. <laughs> I just, I, I don't, I feel bad killing these people because, I, like, how long have they been existing like this? How long have they been dead? How long are they... Well, that depends on what year it is right now. Do we even know that? We get it... emails and stuff, but we, and they're all dated in the 21, early 2100s, but what is the date now? Is it 2200? Is it 3000? How long has the place been fucked, by the way? We, we don't, don't know. Because we don't know what uh, year it is right now. 
we all have vague ah. ideas that it, stuff was going on around the year 2100. But we have decomposing bodies still breathing because the wow is not. Bounced here. Yeah, and she let them live. Is that a body? Uh oh, I can't go down there. Letting them live, I just, I can't, I can't kill them. They're already dead. Alright, what is this? Jack's chip. Oh, I see. Okay. Shut up, KB. You, you want the lasers to go down. The three of them go down. Not, Are you sure you want them all to go down, though? Yeah, that's that will eject the chip that you need. If you put them all to the side, you're bringing this poor robot to life. Well. Okay, well, I got his eyeballs stalked. Being down here. So I think we got your item. Go back up. Oh my god. What? Are you like really human? Oh, that's creepy. Where's the door button? Uh. Not the yeah. abyss. Take me. Take it to Alpha the Abyss? What? Into the Abyss. Take it to Alpha in the Abyss, okay? What's going on? There, there was a uh, voice like, recording about Alpha. Alpha needs medicine. Alpha would be one of the sites they're all named after. Uh, stupid Greek letters or whatever. Like, I, I, does not everybody have a black box? Like, would you be able to see what's up with that body outside? Not everybody has a black box. No, they tend to when they are when they're in extreme bits of disrepair. I don't see. I don't tend to get one. They're not dead. Yet, that one though. There, you you generally only can black box people when who are dead. dead. Yeah. The WoW is keeping that poor guy out there alive. And Tau, find Alpha. Take the gel to Alpha. There was also, um, now that I'm looking at all this, like, almost cult-like information, there was a guy who had started a kind of cult-like scenario, um, at one point, where he, um, had kind of insisted anybody who got their brain scanned to commit suicide almost immediately afterwards. Um, just yeah. under the impression that, you know, they needed to end one existence to continue a second. Um, and this, seeing like this, all this religious artwork makes me feel kind of like that guy. Are you there? 
I hear you, Herbie. What's up? Uh, just wanted to check in. I have the to triangle's all Illuminati. I might not be around <laughs> yeah. for a few days, okay? Rally Herbie leaving the listening post? Must be important. It is, Strask. It is. Okay, then. Stay safe. And then this rally is the body we found, and we're going to take over. Can you hear us? Loud and clear. Everyone all right? We will be as soon as we make friends with the power suits. I'm sure you'll get used to it. <laughs> Just wanted to check in before we pass the last working Lumar probe. Guys, any last words to Omicron? Don't forget to pick us up. You uh, heard that, right? Don't worry, we won't forget. All right, heading into radio silence. Good luck, guys. Tau, please respond. This is Rowley Herber calling from Omicron. Please respond, Tau. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out yeah, of range. Yeah, some important shit. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. This is the first time this computer bug is bugging out. Can I touch this butthole? I'm tired of freaking out. I don't think that'll help. <sighs> Get the virus. King comments that every time we do like one of these healing. Yeah, your hand goes in a little further every time, and your vision gets, like, encroached just a bit more with blackness. Um, and we, we tend to drain the power out of an area when we do that. Yeah, that too. You should have expected the lights to go out instead. Freaked out, crouched. I didn't crouch, no, I just, I got down low. That, that is the definition of crouching. This doesn't sound like a good idea. I'm sure I'm sure there's a thing where you're not supposed to. Like some type of drain all the energy or not drain any of the energy type of situation. There was one where we had to kill one person that drains the energy which will allow us to power another place. Which is completely unrelated to these healing pods, so I don't know why it's saying. What if the gel's of food and the gel is what transmitted the shit? Because the computer would immediately after the take the gel thing, it said get the virus. We don't really know what any of this stuff is. Like, Catherine fills in the gaps a little bit, but not. Not to any useful extent. <laughs> okay, so we got the lower level item and the midsection item. I bet we have to go to the upper level to get the last item. So says my gaming senses. Sounds about right. Wait, no, because on the map that you just went through, there was a dot on the lower and not on the upper. Yeah, that was us at the lower level. Oh, that's you. Oh. You are here, dot. Or at least that's what I took it as. Did we see this one yet? Must not, because here are the fucking stairs to the upper level. <laughs> they look like they're having a bad time. Yoho, Robert. This wouldn't be an adventure until Robert shows up. He's 
enemies on your side. So the black shadowy guy is essentially the essence of the WoW, or we don't know. We know. This is the first time we've ever met Shadow Man. None of this has happened before. Dining hall, dining hall. Could go for some food. The robots eat. Yeah, they. Eat. Well, that's a guy without a head, so. Seems to be the uh, the trend. Let's Everyone's see. losing the head over here. <laughs> Should have stopped while he was ahead. Also, every corpse in this body that we can read has been blank. Like they they haven't had any anything to say. No last moments. Johan Ross was found dead on the this morning. Are in the, head. the arc team went down a couple of days ago, but I see no reason to suspect them playing a part in his death. The climber can't be operated from the abyss, so there was a scheduled retrieval. The climber returned with only the lifeless body of Alpha member Johan Ross. I'm sure it's the deal is the whole beheading thing, because... No idea. Don't just get a random case of head loss. I'll follow up with whatever they find. Well, when we... When we, um... We found the first, I guess, diving suit, I'll call it. Um... It twisted the headpiece off. So I have a feeling the WoW just unhooks and rehooks suits this way, like... A very inelegant just rips the head off and throws the the suit out, and like it had said, the the structure del turned solid after a while, and that was it. So maybe these are just solid corpses, but they seem really bloody for that. So the WoW has been getting more aggressive, pushing all systems to their limits. Ironically, the dead Doctor Johann Ross would be the perfect person to ask why the WoW is making such a big buzz about his passing. After all, the WoW isn't supposed to want anything. Definitely not to mourn people. The system overload affects the staff considerably. Headaches, loss of sleep, unwarranted stress. And it seems to be getting worse. I could use some advice so you can get through. Then end est. Things are out of hand. The staff looks like they're about to explode. Every other person walks around with nosebleeds, and the rest keep wiping stains of blood from their eyes to keep them from overflowing to do with the WoW trying to free Ross somehow, for sure. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the body just got up and left. Rally Herber, our dispatcher, oh. has been snooping around asking Maybe questions. Maybe the heads literally she blow up. She says she's going down into the abyss to find Alpha. I can't bring myself to stop her. That would explain why we haven't found any heads. But see, like, okay, that person's last moments, she screamed. This person's last moments, there's nothing. Yeah, well, the difference is, um, she was recording into a computer, and this, you're just trying to... I'm assuming the person making the recording was the person sitting there. Yeah. We have the options of miso, curry rice, rice, spinach, noodles, and dried beef. Spinach. Go spinach. I don't think you need to eat miso. Human food, though. that she didn't choose any of them? I am. <laughs> well, you also have to understand she's Roman. Well, I don't think Roman's seen. If you could attach the spinach to her and make herself look like Swamp Thing. Oh, yeah, that's true. Main power she or sword? Oh, 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 okay. There's a loading screen. I'm not going into the power room. Why? Because that means that there's something in there ready to eat my brains. Nah. It is like so 10 o'clock. Is that just the autosave? 
Oh, it's so late. Why am I doing this? Why am I not waiting till Saturday when it's raining and miserable? Is it supposed to be rainy and miserable Saturday? That describes the weather here today. Uh, yeah, there's a hurricane coming in if you didn't get that. Oh! I kind of heard some about it. Don't really care. To be honest, I don't live in hurricane areas. Okay, that's an interesting looking one. Oh god, Robert, please. It's really late. I, I can't do the nerve wracking. I'll never sleep. Did you really think you'd be able to collect all three pieces without a bit of resistance? No. For is that Robert? Period. That's Robert. Robert is over there. Well, go show zero. Look, zero, there's Robert. I don't see anything. Ah, uh, I see. I see something, but I don't think that's Robert. I think it's like your lost lover. No, oh, that's yeah, fucking Robert. Dog. I'm pretty sure. That it's is dog. fucking Robert. It's Robbie the. Mother. I'm not a dogologist, but I'm still voting dog. You're dating a dogologist. I that think is goddamn Robert. Also, we don't need to stay there. in the corner. Also, the vision ah! isn't getting... Are you, are you okay? <laughs> Sorry, I have to ask. No! Why not? Your vision wasn't getting glitchy looking at it. Have you tried to... Have you tried throwing a chair at him? Oh, fuck. Remember, they can't see the dark view. That was very close to Robert. I am now dead. Oh. Yep, that is that is way too close for me. Maybe instead of like crawling around at a snail's pace, you could use your sprint button. <laughs> when she said now I'm dead, I assumed she would I thought had she died. Was dead, dead too, like she got caught, but she's still crawling around here, walking around in a big circle. I need a power charge pack. Oh, no. Oh, oh there we go. Yeah. When you get hit, it goes away. So it's like, uh... Alright, you got this power charge pack. What are you doing? Nope, there's Robert! Charge him. Oh, it's probably that computer that you Robert, I really need you to take a walk. Yeah, he's walking. Does he you. does he have to actually touch you in order for you to get? Yes, but what? what or is it just being in proximity to walk? No, being in proximity just sort of glitches out your vision. Yeah, I think it's sort of like the stress meter from like the old NBA games. Got you. But uh, this particular version of Robert, called Slender Robert, since he just teleports from place to place. You're, you're looking right at the computer. Do the computer. It's right there. Charge it. At least I think that's the computer. Give me some spaghetti. He's laughing. Oh. Yeah. He just, want, he just wants to have a good time. I think I need to get back to <laughs> Catherine now. No, did you need a charge pack or did you need a charge pack to charge something? Did you get? I forget what the point I think I needed the charge the pack. Vortex chip. Right, I so can't... make make a dash. Run. Is it gonna follow you into the place of the shadow dude? Or is he dad dude? Who knows? Maybe they'll have an epic battle and we can watch this like unfold. No, because he's standing right there! So, it, it was a circle to go around. Like, the path was a circle. Come on! He did not like it, like you flashing your flashlight no, at him. No, he did not like that light. Wait, what's that? Nope. <laughs> I ran the wrong way. 
Credit cat and mouse them. Somehow still alive. Barely. Usually it's two hits and she's dead. Without healing that way. Maybe it's all the buttholes she stuck her hand in. Oh, maybe. See, Zero understands the butthole thing. <laughs> Can you just jump down from up there? No. Oh, this is glow. this is the entrance. We remember we couldn't get in, KB. No. We couldn't get in. We had to walk around on those planks. No. Like three Wait. episodes ago. Oh, there's like four the bodies in there. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. None of them have heads. All the data recording is broken. Also, did Robert look a little like Roberta? did look different. It was a very feminine Robert. Yeah. Maybe Robert is inhabiting dead bodies like you are. <laughs> well, I, I didn't think Robert was the same person every time, no. Well, clearly, like, the very first one we got. Like, the very first one. The first one had, like, a like giant something. tumor back. Yeah. And then, uh, the one that we got controlling that one basement, that was very robust. <laughs> wow. You, okay. Godbert, please! You cannot do this! You should expect it every time you walked into that room. Oh, I didn't expect that at all. For the love of God, Godbert. He's just, he's just trying to follow you. It's like an escort play. Do you even know where you need to go? Cause I don't. Shut the door, Cap. Lock it up. Lock the door. It's locked. What's going on? Managed to piss off another one of WoW's Keep monsters. Going, following you. We have everything we need, right? Yeah. Let's get to work. Okay. This is crazy. We did it. Don't worry, it'll work. Just find getting to work. I <laughs> know. What do we do? Sure Alright, here's some eyeballs. Oh, okay, so you're trying to fix a bodysuit. Alright, try it. Yeah. No, we need this in order to withstand the pressure of going down really, really below the, like, the depths of the water. Because the body we're currently in is wearing a bot like a suit, so we need a different one. We can't just wear one, because it won't fit. Oh, okay, so you're trans going to transfer your mind entirely into this new body. Yeah. yeah. That way we can go down to the super depths of the water and get the ark. I can't believe we're doing this. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was going to suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the ark. You'd really do it? Change body? Yes. If you want to stay here, I'm not going to stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. What would be like before? Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. All right. Let's do it. Thank you, son. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. Oh. Hmm. I thought she meant we had to leave... the room, and I was gonna be like, uh, no. <laughs> We need to loop there. back the activity manifested by your current Cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip, and then make sure it's synced. There's... you lost me halfway there. You don't really need to understand it, just make them line up. Okay, this one's only got this. Okay. Up, oh, up. Oh. 
They're lined up, right, boys? I don't know. The stream's behind. Looks lining up, fish. Little, not, not. Tight. There you go. Yeah. There we One, go. One five seven. That's everything. You can yeah. climb into the pilot seat now. Already? I have everything we'll under control. We'll get much more lining up so than please. that. <laughs> I'm no line up, but... <laughs> I wonder if we're gonna remember anything, or if we're just gonna go back to the vaults. No, we're transferring our current mind source. This is like a new skin. No, Indians thought photos would steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. <laughs> This is the same conversation we had at the with the beginning of the game. In 2015, wow. yeah. Can't you run a diagnosis or something? <gasps> what was that? No, I think <laughs> Why was it still yeah, talking? Space man suit. Like Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. Oh! What do you, mean? you know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the sea. Oh, uh, we copied. We didn't transfer. You are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kath. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were going to take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset you. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. Oh, there's three Simons. What's going to happen to him? Go sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? Oh, so cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? you do that? I don't know. Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. Side. Uh, neither and both. Neither, you're a robot. Yeah. You're not human, so you cannot commit. I guess you can murder, but it, you're not murdering a human. You're you're deactivating. This is just another episode of BattleBots. <laughs> but no, no, I can't kill myself. That's... Okay, what do you? Okay, you've seen Star Trek, right? Yeah. What do you think happens every time they use the transporter? Every single time they say, beam me up, they are disintegrating the atoms that make up the body. And every time they teleport, they die. Yeah, pretty much. Exactly. Remember that movie that you saw that, I'm, that had, had, it didn't really prestige. make a lot of sense? Yeah, <laughs> it was the prestige, but it didn't make a lot of sense because we skipped over a part. Yeah, for some reason the copy we were using skipped over, like, the most crucial 20 minutes of the movie. She had no idea why the two magicians hated each other. Yeah, I was like, I was like, waiting for it to be explained. It never got explained. Yeah, we gotta rewatch that properly. I actually have it on Blu-ray. I don't know why I just didn't use the Blu-ray. <laughs> okay. I can't! I cannot kill myself! Okay, well maybe it's a moral choice in the game. Don't do it and leave. But you, he, this Simon's gonna wake back up with that crazy ass wow I'll across turn. the door. Okay, here's another way to look at this. Think about it this way. If you were Simon, what would you want? Knowing that your brain is going to sit here in this hellhole forever. Would you rather live in this hellhole or be done with it? I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> if Maylin Kakano was sitting in that chair in front of you, as you yourself, Maylin Kakano, what would you do? I can't have sex with myself. <laughs> Not as a robot. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, yes, okay. I don't know, there's has... disk drives. Hey, Can... how about you plug something to this USB port if you know what I mean? King has a point. I wouldn't want to leave myself 
here with the the crazy wow monster. Here now, ask yourself this: You are now sitting in a chair with someone else saying that they are you. Your your friend Catherine is now taking this other dude's side, saying he's you. And you're just sitting there, strapped to this chair right now, very weak, you can't really move, and they're talking about turning you off. Do you want them to do that? Or do you want them to just leave? And let you go on to your own adventure? I can't... Other Simon doesn't seem to have an opinion. Also, I'm wondering if... We have a deactivatable battery. Why has why is hasn't this been exploited by our enemies yet? I think that's how the WoW kills us by giving us a, a nasty volt. Oh, maybe. Again, this is how teleportation works in Star Trek, and both how they expect it to work in real life. If we ever get that far, you will die. But and see, your new body will continue on. However, there may be a delay between the death and the transport. There may be two. Unfortunately, the old self is going to die. That is, the, that they will kill you. They will not let you continue being because you are already being somewhere else where you teleported to. So you just kind of have to be the executioner here because you that's just how it is. But I have a connection to this body. Like this is this body but was that's not me. Your body. That, that, no, that body wasn't you. That was some. Your body's some back old. in Toronto. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Our body is Toronto six feet under and worm chow right, right now. Something. This is someone else who was born like twenty years ago in the in the like 21, 20, 20 80s, I guess. And you were inhabiting his or her old corpse. Okay. This was not your body. This was not you in Toronto. This was just you after you got your brain scanned in Toronto. So you have no connection to this form at all. You would just deactivate it and go on your merry way. You have a new body. It's a construct, not a form. Like, Simon, the actual Simon, still lived his like, life. He was never this body. I drank this soda, but I don't have an emotional connection to the soda can. But but for the past, like, five-ish hours, or however long I've been playing this game at this point, this... For the past five-ish hours, me. that soda can was holding Zero's drink. <laughs> yes. It, it, this soda can has been here all through Static today. Yeah, it's been through trials and tribulations alongside of us as a companion. It has He's seen Uncle Slappy it, Hands. Oh god, I can never throw away this can. No, <laughs> just fucking with you. <laughs> so, okay, well then don't deactivate it and leave. I don't want you in here with Robert. You're gonna kill it? Kill you? You're gonna kill old you? I love you. Sleep well. Don't say hi to Robert. I've only killed one thing in this game, and I'm not suffering. I can live. You're not suffering, but they are. If I destroy the WoW or figure out what the what's going on, me and clone me can have a happy existence together. So he's staying alive. Nope. Okay. Achievement unlocked! A new you! Yay! Um, 
This may be where I call the end of the episode, only because it is 11 o'clock and I must go to work tomorrow in the morning. All right, then. But, um... Work is stupid. That's stupid. <laughs> Keep playing. If I wasn't the only one in the office tomorrow, I would definitely say, yeah, work is stupid, I'll call out sick, because they made me get a flu shot, and I feel awful. They made you get a flu shot? They took me...